What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dice House and their DCO commentary. Uh, bringing these commentary here today to um, let you all see the uh, spring. I'm sorry, the uh, summertime event. Where you're gonna go in here and help out uh, Aquaman, or you help out Ocean Master, depending on your hero or villain, and go in there and basically just like it's kind of basically it's kind of like a gauntlet type thing. A um, few tricks and everything you gotta do to uh, beat them. Obviously, is activate the, like the little uh, boxes. Like, there's three boxes in there that will keep him from healing. Uh, right here, though, I wanted to show you guys. This is how you can get the uh, full net feet. That's the feat for uh, where you defeat all the mutineers before you go in there and um, actually uh, beat Ocean Master himself, which you have to use those little turrets or those boxes and everything in order to do that. Um, when you activate those boxes, um, it's a real easy uh, tell for that. It's when uh, you know he knocks everybody up in the air and um, excuse me, and he. Uh, he goes over and he sums in those four um, water beasts, whatever they're called, um, and uh, to uh, heal himself. But you'll see that here um, in a minute. Uh, also, you know, I want to talk a few other things um, they added with uh, this update. They've actually added three um, new feats for the Tier 3 duo. Uh, speed feat, um, where you have to do the duo in seven minutes or less. There's also a School of Hard Knocks feat for defeating Gorilla Grodd or whoever the boss is at the end and whoever his ally is without using a soda or a supercharge, um, similar to all the other School of Hard Knocks feats you'll find. Uh, also, there is a uh, feat in there for defeating the main boss and each one of each individual ally that he summons in there. Whether it's like for you know on the, on the hero side, you know you have to defeat uh, Professor Zoom, uh, Black Adam, Solomon Grunny, all the all the other ones that he brings, and you have to defeat all of them at least once. So um, I saw um, 30 uh, feet points there um, total with all all those feats combined. Uh, when you go in here to do this feat. Uh, the main thing you want to do is obviously you want to make sure that you do not um, attack Ocean Master. And whenever he summons in those, you know, just assign like two or three people, you know, three people to um, on each box in there to activate it whenever he summons in. And just, you know, basically, I mean, just sit back and just wait for him to um, stop summoning, uh, calling in the mutineers to help him. And that's basically it for this feat. Uh, <laughs> um, it's just uh, it's real easy to do. Um, I recommend you go in there with at least you know at least have one one person be a healer. Everybody else can go DPS. Um, you do get the uh, team uh, buff um, for not having a tank or a controller in there if you don't have one. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's healing barrels in there if you go in there without a healer and uh you can use those if you know your health's getting low or drink a soda and everything so i mean it's not really that hard of a feat you know just go around just you know kill the mutineers whenever they spawn in activate the box and just it's basically you're just waiting it out waiting for him to stop calling the mutineers to help out and you know obviously right there you saw you know, he knocked everybody back calls and he goes into the middle that's your cue to go to your box to activate it in order to keep him from healing and that's what those boxes do. That's what happens when he goes there in the middle. He heals himself up. It's really not that difficult of a feat to get. It's just time consuming, mostly. Um, <laughs> so there's that. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, open world. Um, open world is a lot of fun. Um, I'm sure everybody's probably done by now. Uh, you know, you're going around, bouncing from one ship to the other, and all that. Doing, e um, doing each mission that you got to do there. But yeah, really not much to this event, um, this seasonal or anything like that. Um, it's not overly difficult. I mean, anybody can do this. Uh, you know, I just, you know, I happen to have, you know, highly geared tuned right now. Um, so it's, you know, really easy. But, I mean, anybody, you know, anybody can queue in to do this. And it's not that difficult um, of an event, you know, or instance to do with a uh, group. Uh, just, you know, if you want to go on for, you know, make sure you get this feat. All you gotta do is just, you know, make sure to get everybody, you know, put a, put a group together. I mean, there's lots of people out there shouting for groups to do this event, you know, and just, you know, put a group together and say, hey, look, you know, let's get that full net feet. 
you know, more than likely there will be people who uh, either don't have it or, you know, more than willing to help. Uh, me and Mr. E already had it. Uh, we came in here to help out a league mate, strafe there, to uh, get it. And um, when we got in here, the uh, pug we had, you know, we were like, hey, we're going for the full net feet. He was about ready to kick her out, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, when uh, they said, you know, so, oh, cool, I don't have that feet either, we were like, all right, let's go get it then. And I just explain, you know, what you had to do. And uh, I hope this video helps out everybody to see what you got to do. It's like, you know, right here, I signed myself to the uh, south uh, box right here to activate. So I'm just, you know, sitting here waiting it out, waiting for him to uh, get whittled down enough. Um, I'm not really exactly sure uh, if there's a specific number of times he summons in the mutineers. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't count. You guys feel free to count here. I think he uh, stopped summoning them in. Uh, after like one box um, activation, he didn't summon it anymore, oh. so we just kind of waited out to uh, activate it one more time, and then we just you know went balls out on him and dropped him pretty quick. Of course, you know we did have to go and activate the torso to keep him from healing himself up, and that's how we eventually um, beat him out. Um, the uh, Atlantean Warrior style, I actually kind of like it. It's kind of it's pretty cool. Uh, fight like a fish out of water. style to have and all that. I really, I kind of li I like the ocean effect that it has on it. Um, I'm not so sure I'm going to be getting the fisherman style, but I mean, that's just me. <laughs> uh, probably not going to run this event um, that many times in order to get those. And I, the, the trinkets, um, I was really interested in the uh, trinkets that are being sold there, especially the uh, sentinel trinket for um, tanking for PVE. But I was looking at the stats comparing to the FOS-3 trinket that I use, um, or the FOS trinket, tank trinket that I use for tanking and PvE, and um, the stats are, it drops the stats um, a lot for that. Um, it doesn't really quite seem worth using that trinket just to have that pet and the um, extra defense that it comes because you know I used the FOS trinket that increased my health by 20% so with you know a buff because I'm a fire tank um, you know that I'll put, I'll put my health currently up puts my health up with the way I'm specced and you know got my gear mod and everything puts my health up over 10k so losing that benefit out to just an extra 200 about about 250 uh, defense doesn't really uh, it doesn't really benefit me as much, um, but that's mo mainly because of, you know, I've got, you know, I'm, I'm almost, almost full tier 4. Yeah, I know, there's a lot of people out there who are full tier 4, but I don't rerun gates, you know, five or six times a day, so... <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I haven't gotten a full tier 4 set yet, but that's just me. I mean, everybody out there likes to do it, you know, and stuff and all that, and, you know, I'm all, all power to you. I mean, you got that option, you know, go for it. Um, I just, you know, have chosen not to, but yeah, so the trinkets, um, what, with the way I'm geared right now with my main character here, uh, doesn't, aren't, the trinkets aren't exactly beneficial towards me. However, towards other people who are leveling up, uh, haven't, you know, got a very high CR or got a lot of gear or anything like that, a lot of, you know, the higher gear. Uh, those trinkets could be very beneficial. Um, I can really see that, um, especially that sentinel trinket. Um, ben very, very benefiting um, earth or ice tanks who are you know working their way up and getting building their CR up. I can see it being very beneficial towards you guys. Uh, for fire tanks, though, I highly recommend you guys go ahead and stick with whatever trinkets, tank trinkets drop in the current raids and using those because those are, in my opinion, a lot better. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is just about ready to wrap up here, I think. Um, I think right here is when we realized, you know, he wasn't calling in any more mutineers. So I was like, I was like, okay, let's just hold off. We'll wait for one more um, activation for these boxes here, and we'll uh, just go, just let them have it. And uh, there he goes, activate one more time. Um, we're kind of sitting here, and we're like, uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we gonna do? Uh, screw it. <laughs> I mean, eventually, if it wasn't this time, it's this next time. No, nope. yep, this is where we decide. Yep, let's go ahead and get him. Uh, just go in there, and uh, like I said, it's basically just a waiting game to make sure you know he's not calling in any more mutineers to help him out. So, 
Not really that hard of a feat to get. Uh, so you know, here we go. We gotta activate the boxes on them again. I'm completely out of position, but somebody else was able to get to it. So that's a good thing. That's why you on know, the three boxes. You know, you know, I have the the fourth person who's not assigned to a box, kind of you know, patrols. You know, and make sure that you know they can get around to the other everything. Um, here he goes, you know, that launches that final uh, tag of his to try and get healed up. We go activate the boxes, and boom, that's all she wrote. Uh, so, yeah, um, let me know what you guys, I hope this helps out everybody out um, who may be having trouble with this. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like the video, please do so by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Until next time, you guys all take care. See, feet just pop for those guys. <laughs> but yeah, until next time, you all take care. Bye.